Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Anderson. I'm a Premier Field Engineer with Microsoft and I specialize in System Center Configuration Manager. I was going to try out something new today and record a session um, for posting to my blog and uh, I'd like to uh, please let me know if they're useful. If so, I'll continue doing it and uh, cover some other topics. So uh, today I'd like to cover custom reporting and System Center Configuration Manager 2012. Um, I had a post uh, just making a really simple edit to a uh, built-in report a little while back and it was surprisingly popular. Um, it's also an area that I get frequent questions on and um, it's, it's not as difficult as you may think to uh, make some changes to existing reports and uh, get some custom results that will look good in, in your environment and make your life a little easier. So um, I thought it would be a good area to cover and uh, that's what we're going to go with. So here we've got terms of use, disclaimer info and all that, and our agenda. So uh, to start with I want to cover a few best practices. So I would always recommend that you start with built-in reports. We've got a, a, a whole bunch of good reports that are built into the product and um, make your life a lot easier when it comes to getting some custom results. Starting from scratch is, is fairly difficult and you've got to have some really good knowledge of the database schema and um, report builder and uh, it's, it's a very daunting task. So start with what we have built in. Um, next you want to make sure that you save them with a new name. That's the very first thing I recommend you doing once you open up a report for editing. Um, that way you retain the original and um, you can always go back if you accidentally make a mistake. Um, next, I recommend that you go ahead and save them in the same directory. Reason being, some of these reports you'll have the ability to drill down um, and get more information. Um, that drill down is just a hyperlink. So if you change the directory of the report, then you break that link and uh, you'll usually want to keep it. So um, I recommend going in the same folder. Um, Finally, you want to make sure you back up your SRS database. So um, if you're doing custom reports, then the, um, the SRS database is where those are stored. So you want to make sure you have a good backup of that so you can set up a scheduled backup in SQL. Um, so finally, the, the demo, that's where we're going to spend most of our time. Um, we're going to go ahead and use Report Builder and modify an existing report and uh, actually show you how to do this stuff. So with that, I'm going to switch over to my site server. Um, I thought a real easy, good example to start with would be the uh, computers with a specific software registered in Add Remove programs. So if you run this, you'll see that we can um, go ahead and type in, in this example, we're going to use Silverlight. And I'm going to run that for all systems. So um, this is a good report, it's fine, get everything I want, but um, if this is something, let's say your manager is, is running on a daily basis and uh, you want to give them something custom so you don't have to type this in each day, um, what we can do is real easily specify these variables for them so they don't have to type them in. So let's go ahead and right click on that and go to edit and it's going to automatically launch Report Builder for us. So once we get in Report Builder, you'll see a pretty familiar interface. Looks like a lot of other uh, Microsoft products. Um, and pretty intuitive. And um, like we talked about, the first thing I'm going to do is save it as a different name. So um, I like them to stand out, so I'm going to go ahead and put Ryan in the front, that way I'll know that this is one that I created. And then um, we can go ahead and give, make this a bit more descriptive and call it Silverlight. So computers with Silverlight registered in Add Remote Programs. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you'll see the name changed. So now our original report is still intact. If we wanted to do this again or we make a mistake, we're all good to go. Um, so you'll see up here is the cosmetic stuff that you could switch around to make it 
look good. So, you know, if I wanted to go in and insert a text box, I could do UC Company. And make that a little bigger. Um, over here, you've got your default config manager logo. Um, again, here, if you had like a company logo or something, you can easily just go to the properties and browse to a new image. And make that look nice. Over here, this expression, this is your um, report title. If you hover over it, you can see how they derive the, um, the title of the report. Since we're customizing this, let's go ahead and make it something more specific. And then over in this left column, this is where all of our data is. So if you uh, right click the data set, um, it's over here, and you right click and go to query, you can see where we're actually pulling this information from. So if you need to know what views to use, um, you can go into any report, edit it, and uh, check and see where this information is pulling from. Down here you'll see our two variables that we need for this one. And this is what we're limiting by. So um, for us, we're not even going to have to modify the query. If we go into the parameters, you'll see here are our two variables. And what we're going to do is set a default value. So I'm going to go and specify right, the soft silver light and say OK. This is for the first one. And the next is the collection ID. So if you wanted to use a specific um, collection, I'm going to go default, specify a value. Um, you can go to the properties of any collection in your console and you can get the collection ID and that's what you'll put here. Um, for us, I'm just going to use all systems, which is always SMS 0001, say OK. And that should be good to go. So let's go ahead and save this and run it to make sure it looks right. And you'll see that it populated Microsoft Silverlight and all systems for us. And we've got our data. Uh, company logo, new title. Looks good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close Report Builder. And if I refresh this folder, you'll see here's our new report. So um, then for delivering it, you've got a couple of options. Uh, you know, any SRS report, you can um, right click and create a subscription to email it or run it on a regular schedule to a uh, file share. You could also, if you wanted to send a link to it, go to your SRS site, drill down. This one was under software companies and products and you'll see here's our custom one so if i run that get a link up here and you could just email out that link you'd be good to go so with that um Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, also, let me know if this was useful. Um, ju just leave a comment or something and, and, and let me know if this is something that, that's helpful to you. If so, I will uh, try to cover some more topics in upcoming sessions. Um, you can please subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, follow my blog. And uh, finally, if you're interested in PFE, and you're an existing Premier customer, contact your uh, technical account manager and uh, let them know you're ed interested and uh, you can get a dedicated PFE to uh, help out with, the, with your business and um, look at some of the proactive offerings that we have, workshops and uh, health checks, all that. 
and uh, we would love to hear from you. So uh, thanks for your time, and I will talk to you next time.